Welcome back, everybody. I should have gotten a drink, too. Probably. So, another th- reason why I'm, like, sitting with the mic up here is because I've been listening to the other videos as I'm editing them, and I'm quiet in a lot of them. Oh, are you? Yeah. Huh. Which is surprising, considering I'm fucking peeking out in yellow every time I look over and see myself talk. Yeah. But I guess it's because sometimes I have the mic sitting like this, Uh and I'm like this. Yeah. Yeah this amount of space changes how I sound. Interesting. So now I'm trying to be more on this side. Yeah. I'll look at her. But I'm not any farther from my mic, and I'm always loud. And there are some videos where we can actually hear you breathing. (laughs) Really? Yeah. I don't know. I just, for some reason, anytime I've heard myself, I'm just really quiet. Huh. Maybe it's maybe it's specifically at the start of videos when it's like one in the morning when we were fit we were recording and I'm just like I'm just hey done guys, with it. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Versus you know how I'm talking now. This is the festival of masks. Today today is just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. I bet you don't have any festivals this big over in Paldea or wherever, you right? Uh we haven't been to one, so Yeah. Knew it. See, Kitakame is just as good as any of your big shiny cities. You get to play the mini game. Oh, it's okay. Just ignore her. I'll snap a photo of you uh, so you can remember this amazing night forever. No thanks. Give me your roto stick for a sec. Wait. I know we're being nice here because we don't. Our Rotom can just fly. Yeah. Come on, you two. Scooch in closer. Ow, you're stepping on my toe, sis. Oh, stop sis. complaining. This will only take a second. Okay, are you all ready? Say Chansey. Cheese. <gasps> I just realized. Yeah? That's the photo in the, indi- in the uh, Indigo Disc credits. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Now that's what I call a nice festival vibe. The Festival of Masks is held so we can all honor the Loyal Three, the brave heroes of Kitakami. The Loyal Three are the Pokemon that once protected this land from the evil ogre, you know. Most of the kids in town wear masks of the Loyal Three, like me. Did I mention that there there are heroes? (laughs) Hee hee hee. What? What are you laughing at? Nothing. I was just thinking it was funny that, like, you don't know anything about the ogre. What? I know the legends of Kitakame better than anybody. Pretty gutsy of you to laugh at your big sis. Sorry. How about you guys just have a Pokemon battle? Just figure it out. Actually, uh, it's noted that Carmine would have been a member of the Elite Four, but she didn't uh, register in time. Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Kiki's still a a little baby, so of course he thinks some kind of terrible monster's cool. He likes the ogre more than the Loyal Three. Oh, look. They've got candy apples. Let's go check out the stalls. Now he gets an apple. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, I am here for the the masks. Hello? I want to buy one, but so many you're masks. not who I Which was talking I to. Choose? Oh, there's nobody here. What is that red mask? That's on. It is, but like, <laughs> why is that there? Interesting. Is that supposed to be Fezendipity? Yeah. Yeah, because the dog mask is definitely Okie Dogie. Uh-huh. Hello. <laughs> Uh, hi. Common rider looking ass. I'm here with my Pokemon. I've got beautiful treats. We've given fruits and berries. Oh, and it's a Diplin on co- the picture. Coatings. Yeah. Ooh, those look good. Yeah. Do you think the green candy apple is like sour candy? Probably. I would hope so. Like a sour apple? Yeah, but like... You don't cover... A regular apple in, like, apple-flavored candy. Why would you cover it in sour apple? Hmm. But the only green candy I know is sour apple. Or watermelon. No, or, that's, watermelon's that's pink. more of a pink, yeah. Hmm. 
Look, Kieran, you're not as you're not as special anymore. They're all wearing ochre masks. <laughs> Excuse me, two candy apples, please. You got it. Two candy apples coming right up. Here's a Diplin free of charge. Whoops. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, here, you can have one. Grandma gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. After I washed you, like, twice. <laughs> Bless you. I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know? One day I'm just gonna catch you at, like, sneeze and just be like, God, shut the fuck up! Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know when it's gonna happen. I, I get that every single day. I just, I know it's gonna happen, but I don't know when. Ryan does it every time I cough or every time I sneeze. He got it from fucking Critical Role or some shit like that. Oh. Uh, Apparently, whenever, uh, anytime Grog would sneeze or cough, I think he said Laura would, would lean in close. Or the one that plays Pike leans in close to him and goes, shut the fuck up. That sounds like something Laura would do. <laughs> yeah. So now he just does that. So now I do that every single fucking day. There are times I sneeze and I can still hear him in my head. <laughs> You got PTSD for this, man. <laughs> Grandma always just makes us mochi as a snack. There's even a Pokemon in Kitakami that looks like a little old candy apple. Did you know that? Did yeah, you know? I've got one. Did you see it? Hey, let's check that over there. Did you see it? <laughs> Why is that so funny? I don't know, man. It's oh, just shit. this farting on my roommate's door. It's just this season's running joke, apparently. No, you smell that as a season's oh, yeah. running joke. <laughs> that which one, yeah. I'm amazed that you you like in, you find that humorous enough to keep it going. <laughs> it's so easy. What you doing over there? Drugs. You got orange or a yellow thingy. The selfie pose for when you want to be like secretive. Everyone's doing it lately. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. I didn't know that was a thing to collect in the game, but all right. Well, we have it now. Where is he? You see that person right there? This one? No, to your right, the one in the black. Yeah. Don't talk to them out in the wild. Oh, okay. All right. So now I know what they look like. Well, that's at least one of the outfits I've seen. Okay. Where did he go? Cast form. Oh. What? No. <laughs> when I was like this far and the eye was just in, on screen, I didn't see that it was a dust skull. It kind of just looked like a cast form. I'm like, that is a huge fucking cast form. I want a cast form. I yeah. like cast form. Where is he? Where did he go? Kieran! Over there. Hey, I can't ride. Oh, there you are. Drugs. Drugs. I'm on them. All of them. Step I'm right up for <laughs> Step right up for a game of Ogre Austin. Yeah? Y'all wanna have a go? So y'all wanna have a go? Yeah. I guess. Hey, you're one of those kids that came all the way from Paldea, right? You should beat Carmine's score. I, I can't very well take money from a guest. Have a go on the house. Wow, you guys are like really polite, but also that's super bad business. Yeah. Oh, you're going to try it? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll cheer you on from safe distance. I only did it once, and I didn't care to do it again. <laughs> you're up for a run of Ogre Austin, huh? I did one just now. It's It was pretty easy for me, that is. My score was 6,390. Think you can do better? I, I gotta know the minigame first. What the fuck is this? Have fun. I can't explain it to you. Okay. I think you're getting balloons while stopping Greedon from eating the things. I don't know. Okay. I did it just to do the story. Okay. And I never touched it again. Oh, what the fuck is this? It's a traditional game that has been played in Masui, Masuri Town since long ago. Gather up lots of berries and bring them to the berry tables. Try to earn yourself a high score. The playing field is daughter, dotted, dotted with ogre balloons in four different colors. Pop these balloons to collect the berries inside. Okay. There are also four different colors of berry tables. Okay. 
Place one of your berries on a matching table to get close to it and press the A button. Once you've managed to place the target number of berries on these tables, you win. From time to time, greedy Pokemon may gather around berry tables. Okay. Use our button to scare them off. 2422. Two. Okay. So, like, it's not crazy, it's just I didn't do them after that. Need two blues and two grays. Two blues. I already have them. Okay. I didn't see you hit. I didn't see you hit any blues. Yeah. Oh, you can just return to the berry tables with Y. All right. Okay. Round two. Stage two. Six, five, five, four. Okay. Oh, good. They're just up there. All right. Okay, so don't do that. Okay. Yeah, it's not a bad little mini game, but I'm not saying it's hard. I just how did she get so many points? I don't know. <laughs> eight seven seven eight. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, I was gonna ask what's stopping you from just doing all the berries like this. Yeah. But there, you have a limit on how many you can hold. Okay. So I guess now round four is like over the limit. Oh no, we're done. Okay. Oh, much lax. You beat him. I did it. You didn't even see him. Nope. Oh, you beat oh, her. Oh, god damn. So, see, you get stuff for it. Those those are basically uh, the uh, feathers, uh -huh. but they're mochi. Okay. And if you go up... Uh, Ooh, bamboo shoot. That's for something. Oh, not resist. Damn. Uh, scroll down a little bit. Do we have... We didn't actually get any. So, there's one of the mochis you can get just resets your, uh, your IVs. Mm. Or your uh, EVs. Okay. There's, it's called a, it's a reset mochi. Which, if we ever fuck up a Pokemon, we can get one of those. Okay. Which I don't think we will, but it's a cool thing to have as an option. Yeah. Like, say we we built a Lucario as a physical attacker, but since they're a mixed attacker, you could just change it. Okay. That was some fine dashing about. Let's see now. You scored 7,511 points, so here's your prize. Oh, EXP charm. Now we get, uh, it's basically like having a fucking, uh, lucky egg. Oh, for everybody? Mm-hmm. Huh. And then equipping the lucky egg gives you another half, so... Oh my god. You get two times XP on the, t on the first Pokemon holding the lucky egg. Okay. I, Carmine, Mossery's reigning champion of Ogre Balloon Bustin'. Have been defeated? Ah, uh, I hate losing. I want to have another go or to get even, but I'm all out of pocket money. What do you? How do you guys play? We had a Coridon. Yeah. Kiki, 
You go and beat... I probably wasn't supposed to do that on the, on the Crichton. <laughs> You're supposed to walk. I wonder. Because, like, how... Because, no, Corrado's part of the gimmick. Okay. Use R to scare off the Pokemon. Oh, no, you're right. That's his roar. What's that? You're taking the side of an outsider over your own sister? That makes me so annoyed. I think I'm gonna gonna black out. Ugh, sorry, she's causing such a scene. Don't worry, I'll deal with her. Why don't you go wander around a bit in the meantime? Well, well, well. If it isn't you. Yeah. My next Pokemon. Yeah. There it goes. Yep. Hmm. Wonder who that kid was. Anyways. Oh, hello. Man, this DLC is really buggy. Not really. Just a pop in. <laughs> There's a lot of pop ins. Good lord, you're bigger than I thought you were going to be. You are literally the size of a child. Yeah. I think Ogre Pond's one of the cutest uh, legendaries. Hello. My name is Main Character. Mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. Neil. Hey, listen to this. It's nuts. Kiki is no use at all. Zero talent for Austin Ogres. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, who was hey, that? Who was that? I've never seen that child before in my life. Chase after that mysterious kid. Oh. Wait! You shouldn't run off on your own. Hey, new kid, that goes for you too. No. You should come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we finally got our mask for the night. <laughs> well. <laughs> you found the tail mask. We did it. We've defeated the DLC. We did it. Who was that? Where'd that kid come from? funny that you mentioned it's the size of a child yeah what are you talking about wait do you mean that kid we just saw they ran off toward the mountain C could that have been the ogre from the story on all the signboards are you saying that story was true fuck <laughs> i mean they did drop a mask so Carmine, they chill. really must be hold on sis what are you guys doing over here drugs Oh, we just bumped into the ogre. You know, casually. Hey, wait! Stop, stop, stop! Don't tell him that. What? You're... Why are you yelling all of a sudden? It's nothing. It's it's nothing. You, you'd be interested in at all, I swear. Huh? Oh, I get it. I bet you were making fun of me behind my back. Absolutely, at all times. I'm just gonna head back to the festival. You girls and your gossip. And drugs. And drugs. At least he didn't figure out what we were really talking about. Don't scare me like that, blabbing for the whole world to hear. Don't you have any filter? No. See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. So if he found out that we'd seen the ogre without him, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? Feel left out or something. Am I overthinking it? Sides. I didn't want him running up the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. Well, in any case, we already lied about it, and that's that. Let's keep this whole thing our little secret, okay? And maybe hold off on showing Kiki that mask you just picked up, too. 
What if I just leave right now and climb the mountain? I don't think you can. I think they cut you to the... No, you might be able to. Or might just say, you can't go out on your own. What if I just... Yep. But I could, I could go up there and end all of this right now. Oh, right. I can't. I can't ride right now. I'm not allowed. Oh, I'm not allowed to ride my Harley in town. <laughs> this is that South Park episode all over again. <laughs> Karen! Where are you, little buddy? Hey, man. You're one of those things. What? <laughs> I know what you are. <laughs> Hello? Oh, there you are. Forget you're wearing white. Had enough of the festival? Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> How? I don't know. Well then, I guess we should head home. I'll walk you back to the community center. Just the darkest look you can give to Carmine. I know what you are. <laughs> the next day. Head outside when you're ready. Okay. Loading. I guess we all just slept in these clothes last night. I guess so. There you are. I feel like we're not supposed to be wearing these outside of the festival. Yeah. This feels like uh this feels like walking out of your room in your pajamas. <laughs> yeah. Just because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. That's exactly what it means. What yeah. the fuck are you on about? <laughs> you literally like changed my schedule while I was asleep. <laughs> well, I sent you a group invite. Did you yeah. get it? You don't have a smartphone? Yeah. So, uh, You're not you supposed see, to know that. <laughs> I sent you a chatot. Why didn't you open the window? Why didn't you open your my tweet? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to talk to you a bit. You haven't told anybody about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? I went to sleep. I had my candy apple and I passed out in like two bites. What was in that candied I'm gonna apple? I'm going to make you swallow a coughing hole. Uh, coughing is bigger than my head. That's, uh, that's quite a feat. Nurse Joy is, is eavesdropping. <laughs> you still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows a lot about the village's history. Bitch, why are you shouting? <laughs> yeah, right? You know where my house is, right? See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Let's show grandpa the... The thing we found. The totally illegal drugs that we found. Yeah, like, we I joked and said drugs, but, like, the way she's talking. Yeah. Head to Carmine's house. Carmine. With how Marie was said, I mean... It's I ruined me. Like, I, I know her name is Marie yeah. in fucking P4, but I know I told you... Uh, I said Marie the other day when I was telling you what I was doing. Yep. But, you know, when with Mar with how Marie is pronounced, I wouldn't be surprised if her name was pronounced Carmine. Carmine. Good morning to you. Oh, shit, he's here. I'm also in my pajamas. How are we doing, everybody? <laughs> hey, good morning. I just imagine that's how he enters the room. Yeah. I am also in my pajamas. Big, How are we doing today? Big Dick Kieran coming out in his pajamas today. Uh, Want to go see the last signboard? Kiki, go find someplace else to off. be. fuck off. I'm stealing your friend today. Will non has got business with me. Whoa. Oh my god, she angry. Jeez, maybe you could have done that a little more tactfully, but... Yeah? Seriously? She's spending all her time with you. That's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. What'd you just call me? <laughs> Carmine is the type of person who will say something and not realize just how harsh she said it. Yeah. Like, literally, she literally goes, Why the fuck's he mad? What did I do? Yeah. <laughs> you, we know what you did. You know what you did. What's his deal? Kiki should know better than to talk back to me like that. That's enough, Carmine. <laughs> oh, don't. Don't. <laughs> Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. 
I was being kind. It's not like hit, like I hit him or anything. Well, <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. He hit him in his emotions. Anyway, we've got more important things to discuss, right? Come on, you gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. Oh man, I love drugs. <laughs> That's an EXP <laughs> charm. And this is... No, not that! I'm talking about the thing we found yesterday. Well, I mean, I, well, I got see. this yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see what it was. Is this one? <laughs> oh yes, my wife gave you this. Yeah. <laughs> you, be, you gotta be more specific, bitch. <laughs> oh, this. My God. This mask. It belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it. The ogre, I mean. Yesterday at the festival of masks. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but it dropped that mask and, yeah. I never would have thought that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. Huh? What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. That's what they want you to believe. I suppose it's time I told you, Carmine. You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. The other way around. This is just what a fucking mean? conspiracy theory. Yeah. You should hear this too. You also met the poor ogre, or Ogre Pawn, as it's rightly named. Let me tell you the true story as passed down through our family for generations. Memories. <sighs> Talk to Carmine's grandfather. I thought you just thousands of years into the future <laughs> thousands of years ago into yes. the future well this is different oh this is going to be a bit of a long story to tell is that all right yep. sure is it in cutscene form or do i have control here this story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth i learned it from my father why didn't our dad tell him He's tell dead. them <laughs> us it's a, it's a story of truths. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. Why not? Mobs. You must never speak of it to others. They'll go psycho. They're going to. Okay. I'm going to go tell the townspeople right away. Yep. Didn't I just... You can't stop me. You just told me it. A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakame from in, a foreign land. In a galaxy far away. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre, who looked so different from them. Run, Gaijin. Is that AZ? And so oh. they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. Before you continue, there are theories that AZ was involved in No stuff. shit. Not, that's not AZ. Yeah. But... It's because we're so close to Unova. Yeah. It is theorized that maybe these are the Ogre Pond and the, the trainer was from Unova. Huh. Because they just said they're from another part of the world. Right. And they looked different from these people. And because it's so close to Unova. Okay. Yeah. So it could have been somebody from the same kind same race as AZ. Yeah. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. Because he's just so huge. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers. The village mask maker. The happy mask salesman. Mm. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. Before they met with a terrible fate. Hmm. The masks were brilliant works, adorned with gems the man brought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. I mean, he's still a giant. Yeah. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the masks, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. 
In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors of exquisite, shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. That guy on the, the trainer's right, uh -huh. you can see it right above Okie Dogie's nose now. Uh -huh. What mask is that supposed to be, do you think? Um, I was thinking Golbat. I yeah. don't think Golbat's in this game. But it does have the teeth. Yeah, but I don't think Golbat's in this game. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakame. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived and tried to make off with the masks which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave... It found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea that was what was happening, nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen, uh, trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three and in, in, interred? Interred. interred them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave, alone and with great sadness. Except here's the thing. Ogre Pond with the teal mask is straight grass. Uh-huh. Meaning it went down there and defeated a grass po or poison fairy. Uh, psychic, poison fairy, and a poison fighting type. In a 3v1 using Ivy called Cudgel. Yeah. That's terrible. Ogre Pond didn't deserve that. And the Loyal Three? They're the worst! The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. They gotta hear about this! Didn't I just... <laughs> Calm yourself, Carmine. I told you already to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa! The villagers believed their own version of history. They revere the Loyal Three, so how would they react to being told that they've got it all wrong? They'd probably get angry? Exactly. Back when this all first occurred, the Mask Maker, that is to say, our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it's said he was persecuted as a heretic. He was burned at the stake in the middle of town. Oh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. Really? Not one of them just said, hey, that's not what fucking happened. Right? And then just went with what was going on? Yeah. I see. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't, no. I've certainly never spoken to him about it. Why do you ask? I should probably tell him. <laughs> I, should, I should tell him. I should call her. I should call him. I don't know. He just really seems to, to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. And he's been trying to one-up me as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Well, I can't say what's going on with the boy, but he always was a sensitive child. It wouldn't surprise me if he somehow intuited, intuited the truth. I can't, uh, my, my glasses are off, I can't read. Oh. I promise to tell Kieran the whole story when the time is right. The one time I go to clean my lenses, it's, it's a time you actually need me to be looking. Yeah. Until then, take care not to breathe a word of the truth to anybody. 
Okay, Grandpa. Now I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. About that mask you showed me. I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? Uh-huh. Oh, huh? Uh, maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs. Since Grandpa's offering, let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it back to Ogre Pond. There you go. Don't let Kiki see it. Anyways, don't you worry. I'll be sure to take good care of this. So that was a whole last episode. Yeah. Oh, shit. He knows. How could we have done this? I want to see Ogre Pond again, but getting its mask fixed will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with the orient or orienteering. orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. Are we going to change or... Bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. No, I think she actually keeps us on for a while. Huh. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind running around in my pajamas. Oh, I can't ride. Well, anyways, you that's... might not have been able to, like, because you were in the in the uh, walkway there. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next episode.